So there's a new Form 4 that was put out, and guess what? The CEO of Molin Company is on it. So I'm gonna break that down and explain that to you this morning. I'm also gonna show you the charts and really what we need for Molin stock. We need an explosive move up to this point, so stay tuned for that. Before I do that though, don't forget to drop a like. I would always appreciate that this early morning, Saturday morning, it's 5.03. I actually slept in past four today, so go me. But don't forget to grab your coffee. Here's mine. Nothing I say is financial advice. This is just my own opinion and what I think is happening next for Mullen stock. Of course, think about subscribing if you're not subscribed yet. I make Mullen content every single day, but I am starting to make different stock content as well. And it is going to get very exciting the rest of this year. Just so you're aware, on this channel, I've gone over stocks like DNA, DraftKings, Palantir, Tesla, starting to look at SoFi, gone over Lucid, a lot of these trades are in my Patreon down below at $7 a month. I just made a video right here talking about why SoFi crashed and what trade setups you guys need to be looking for. If you want to learn more about that and these detailed videos, it's $10 a month. Links down below. So this is the newest form that was put out. And let's break this down real quick. Uh, this is, uh, you can see David at the top right there. There's three lines, common stock. Let me actually pull it up on mine also. And you can see the date. So it looks like on June 13th, he was awarded about 2.6 million shares. Okay. And then two days later on June 15th, which was on Thursday, because today's Saturday, he then transferred or sold shares. So J, the letter J means transferred. G means gifted, just so you guys know. So we know David has done that before. So the last line right here, he gifted about 541,000 shares. Who to? No idea. But you can see that he now owns about 113 million shares. Now, the interesting thing, and maybe someone can clear this up for me, is it seemed like when we had the reverse split, his shares would have been split also. And he should be around 4 million shares. So did his shares not split? If anyone can clear that up for me, that would be much appreciated. Comment down below. But this is basically you know, how I'm understanding it is that he got get he got uh shares awarded shares he sold some he gifted some and he transferred some key thing he never bought them though so again if david wants to be like elon musk well he should buy his own freaking stock in his company if he believes in mullen in the long run and he wants to be the number two next to tesla buy stock dude buy the freaking stock talk a little more update the people that's all we want, right? We want a strong CEO who has a great vision, who we can feel confident in with moving forward with this company. All right, so you can see this is the daily time frame, and we need an explosive move because this is freaking horrible, right? We have been on a straight downtrend for weeks now, especially since March, and you can't see it, but it was way up there. I think a lot of people would be very happy if we could just run to this 50 day SMA, which would be a dollar 46, right? I mean, it wouldn't be the happiest, but for people that have been dollar cost averaging down, I know there's a lot of people who have their averages under two bucks. So this wouldn't be a bad run, right? An explosive move. And really, the again, the optimistic side of me with Mullen Company is with supposedly production right around the corner. And the belief that I have for Mullen Company, what they can become if they remove certain people from their board and they get new leadership in there, I think this could be an amazing company. Great products, great partnerships. They've done a lot of work, what it looks like with RRDS, Randy Marion, Loop Global, Bollinger Motors, like they are in this thing. But stock price doesn't show that, right? Stock price tells us a different story because they have bad lending, they have these warrants, they have a lot of sketchy business going on. And if we can just remove all of that stuff, we can get a new, a new leader, to lead this company, this company could actually be very great and I would feel very confident with what I'm holding right now with Mullen stock. But again, we need an explosive move. We need some big news to get us out of this hole, get a quick 300, 400% move. But the sad part is, is that gonna happen, right? Because I've gone over before, what has Mullen done, especially when it's been traded publicly? The most it's ever ran was 700% and this was, a while ago. This was like in 2022, February, I think, um, February or March or, or something like that. They dropped their battery news and the stock ran 700% over the next month, 
right? So even if we did that, a 700% move from where we're at right now would get us to about $1.74, okay? So it'd be right above this 50-day SMA. Is it possible? Yes, because the SMA is a very real thing. We've traded this before, but we'll find out. Another area that I'm looking for, if we can get an explosive move out of here and if they can actually launch good news production news, actual dates that I've been talking about, like getting more clear and specific with certain things that makes people and institutions believe, okay, these guys are actually going into production. They're delivering vehicles on this date. This is how much revenue they expect to collect. This is what is happening in the future with future deals. Like they don't do any of that stuff. They just kind of give us the gray line um, and they kind of keep us hanging on by a string, basically. <laughs> It's horrible. So again, we need we need new leadership, we need new marketing, we need a whole new team in my opinion. And again, vote no. I'm voting no. You know, it, it's crazy because a lot of people that are in this stock have lost a ton of money, okay? Especially if you haven't been dollar cost averaging down. But even if you've been dollar cost averaging down like me, you're still losing money. So it's horrible because we're making new lows every single day, right? So I feel everybody's frustration and pain and anger right? And we may not have control over this vote or whatever it is, but we can do our part, do our best. And they deserve a no for everything. Let's fight back, honestly, because people have lost so much. It's bad, David, for you to mess with people that have lost so much. For you to mess with people that have lost everything, you don't want to mess with those people. So again, guys, I would say vote no on every single thing. I did give David a proposal. I said, David, if you can get us over a dollar organically, pre-split, so that would be about $25 of today's prices, then I will vote yes to everything that you and Mullen Company is looking for. Heck, if you could get us to $10 after split. So that's about 40 cents pre-split. You know, we've been there before. We're actually lower than 40 cents after split. We're at 22.9 right now. So again, David, let's let's do this. If you can get us to 10, 10 bucks organically, I will vote yes for everything from Mullen Company and then we can keep this train moving. Again, if we get any good news, we gotta explode out of here and then maybe we could start making official higher lows and get out of this hole that we're in. The only thing that keeps me slightly positive is all this fear that's going on. I like fear in the market because that's a buying opportunity and also production news right around the corner. There's been a lot of people on Twitter that have driven to these shows and they feel very confident about where Mullen is heading into production. So again, appreciate you guys for watching. Have a great morning and we'll see you on the next one.